Good morning, you guys. Welcome to beautiful Vermont and welcome to the nomadic movement, being nomadic again. <laughs> We woke up in the woods last night, kind of on the side of a farm, tucked back in the mountains. And the best thing about all this, the best thing about living on the road again, is we just have no idea where we're gonna sleep tonight. Oh my God. Honey, you need to come smell this. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Doesn't it smell like bacon cookies? It smells so good, honey. First crack! The first pop! This is, ah! <laughs> this is so much fun. If you guys have ever made popcorn before on a pan, roasting coffee on a pan is like the exact same thing, with maybe like, there's a little bit more creativity, because you can stop it at the perfect roast level. I'd say we've reached a light roast. What do you want to get to? Let's do a little medium roast. Maybe like a medium dark honey. I'm saying like, like the fall time. Like, yeah, you know? let's do it, let's do it. Three, two, one. Pull it, honey, pull it. Now the trick is about cooling it down as fast as possible. Oh. All right, let's get it outside. <laughs> Throw the coffee up in the air and all the shaft will blow away and then all the coffee will land back in there. Oh my God. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Pancakes for dinner and pancakes for breakfast. <laughs> I just got Sadie down for her first snap of the day. So Jordan and I are gonna tag team in here and get this thing prepared because we are going on an adventure today. Good morning, little truly bones. So our little Sadie love has actually been crushing it in the sleep department the last like week, week and a half. We had two nights where she pretty much completely slept through the night. It was like a six hour stretch, which for me, that's that's sleeping through the night. <laughs> and man, oh man, when that happens, I wake up that next morning just feeling so, I feel like a new woman. I feel revived, I feel renewed, I feel reborn. How does it feel that I'm the favorite now? I know, honey. Are you jealous? <laughs> it is a little heartbreaking, I will say. You've been the favorite for over a year. I know. No, she wants me. She does. So Sadie does still sleep with us. And it was so cute because she usually always sleeps on my side. She's been waking up in the middle of the night and wanting to crawl over and go over to Jordan. <laughs> and he's just absolutely melting because of it. But I will say it is a little... I, I am happy though because, you know, honey, you it's, it's your time. time. It's, it's your time now, it's so... <laughs> So we are getting the heck out of here. We are actually going on a little road trip about 25 minutes west. It's like bright, bright orange. So we're driving down some back roads to a place that we were actually at exactly one year ago. I think this was the moment that I instantly knew that Vermont was going to be a place we were going to be spending a lot of time in. I am like having so much nostalgia right now. <laughs> it was a totally different time than last Remember time. Remember when we were here last time? The moon was just like massive. Yeah. This, <laughs> this right here. Let's go. <laughs> Do you remember this? No, this is literally the best chocolate milk in my life. So you might be wondering, okay, you're at a farm stand. What's so special about it? They got sausage, chocolate, coffee. They got all kinds of specialty meats, pizzas, produce, cheese, milk, maple seltzers. They got everything. This is just a farm stand on a farm and you come in, you just grab whatever you want and then you just come over here and pay. There's no one even here. They just trust you to take it and pay for it, which we're gonna, but it just, Vermont's just different. So they have this little system over here set up. You can even pay with card. There's not even cameras in here, which is just like, that just says a lot. And that's it, in and out talk to no people and we have a duffel bag full of food. We left our camping spot in central Vermont and headed east. Drove dirt roads almost the whole way into 
New Hampshire. We're now in the White Mountains and it's beautiful here. There's so many more leaves here because we're actually a little bit more south than we were. And a big reason we came here is we had to find a spot with full hookups, full electrical, full water, internet, the whole deal. And that's something that's awesome about the Airstream is you can do that when you need it. And we definitely need it now because this is gonna be our office for the next 48 hours. We have to get some work done for our coffee business. And for those of you guys that don't know, we're opening up a roastery in Vermont, a coffee roastery. And there's just a lot to do, a lot of computer stuff to do. So what a better place than to do it out here in the woods. Have any of you guys seen Nope yet? That's what we're watching right now. Really Babes asleep, having a little mom and dad time. I spoke too soon. She just woke up. <laughs> This is our final test drive of a brand new coffee that we've been working on. We've been spending months trying to work on our first ever blend. And our purpose of this blend, our intention of this blend, was just to do one thing. Usually blends are all about reducing costs and mixing kind of bad coffee in with okay coffee and masking it to try to reduce costs. But with this one, with this coffee, we had we just tried to do one thing, and that was to make it taste as good as possible by taking the strengths and the weaknesses of three different coffees, blend them together. So if any of you guys want to try Caramel Drizzle, it will be ready by the time this video goes out. It'll be up available on our website. You can click the link in the description below to go and check it out. We do only have about 300 bags available. This one's super limited, but it's a perfect coffee for fall time. So if any of you guys want to give it a go, the link's in the description below. What a little one. You ready to go, little one? Come on. Some mornings you wake up and you just get an urge that you just need to get up on top of a mountain, especially as the foliage season's coming to an end. Oh, we got some undercast when we get to the top. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Just so you know, Kaylee is like determined to bring Sadie up the whole way. <sighs> She's having a blast. She's loving it right now. You did it, sweetie. You did it. You're a badass. <laughs> Holy cow. The undercast, sweetie. <laughs> oh my god. Good job, you little muffin. <laughs> Good job, Sudi. You taught her her fourth word. Boop. Boop. <laughs> you want to? You want to boop? Do you want it? <laughs> so this is my first official time using our oven here in the Airstream to bake. So I only, I thought it'd only be fitting to make a coffee cake for breakfast this morning. <laughs> so for any of you guys wondering what it's like living in, how many square feet is this, honey? 200. 200 square feet with a dog and a one-year-old. It actually... It's freaking awesome. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Say, I love you, Bo. Oh, this is... Oh, it's so nice, honey. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, looked at. Nice and burnt. Mm -hmm. Just how we like. What do you think, honey? That looks awesome. Can you give me a taste test? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yep. Better than you thought, huh? See, you were talking down to yourself. This is why you gotta wait till the end. You were like, mm, I don't know. And now... We're gonna eat that whole loaf today. <laughs> So we just got word that there's a massive storm coming through. There's flood warnings and we're in a flood zone. We're in a massive flood zone. This is a place that we have been told by the landlord Lord, that always floods because we're right next to a river. 
So we need to get out of here. And the good thing is, our house moves. So we loaded up the Airstream, and now we're hitting the road, and we're just gonna book it right back to Stowe to try to beat this storm. But that's where we're gonna end this one. Thank you guys so much for following along, and we'll see you on the next one.